The following is a presentation of USA Swimming Productions. And there's a beautiful shot of the Austin, Texas Swim Center where the Longhorns swim all year round. And this is Deck Pass Live, guys, day three. I'm your host, Brendan Hansen. Excited to be here. Obviously, you can hear my voice is going a little bit, so I had to bring in some firepower to help me today. And don't get me wrong, I do have that. We did have an interview earlier that I wanted to have with Michael Andrew, but he's the top seed tonight in the 50 freestyle, and obviously those sprinters, they need their rest. So he bailed on me, so I stand here alone by myself for only two more seconds because I will have two of my most favorite people that I ever swam with on the national team, and for a very long time at that, probably way more talented than I've ever was in the pool, but I had to dress up. My wife made me dress up a little bit today just because these two ladies I, it's, it's hard to, to look tall with Matt, Matt Grievers, and it's hard to look good when you have these two ladies with you. I've got Natalie Coughlin and Caitlin Sandino, the captains of the swim squad. Guys, come on board. Yay, Brandon! Oh, my Thank God. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> yes. That's like the nicest so nice. introduction I've ever had. Yeah. Wow. You look so nice. I haven't even asked them a question. They just keep talking. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about swim squads. You guys are the captains of your teams. I don't, I don't really care about strategy right now. I just want to talk about <laughs> has there been text message chains? Is there crap talking going on? What's happening here? There has been a lot of trash talking <laughs> going on, mostly by From yours her. truly. <laughs> um, that's the best part of fantasy sports. And this is why I wanted to bring something like this to USA Swimming. I think fantasy sports, like I play fantasy football. I don't know if you do. Sure. And it makes me cheer for athletes and teams that I normally wouldn't cheer for. And I think that's the beauty of this. Like last night I was, you know, getting up and cheering for Madison and Cox and <laughs> Melanie Margalis and I mean I, I like them personally but they scored a lot of points for, <laughs> so for you like them squad. even more now <laughs> yeah <laughs> Natalie is definitely a little bit competitive she she's just like she gave me the stats I know. <laughs> literally the most competitive person yeah. I know <laughs> she's like okay I've got four swims Lizak's got full two and Caitlin I'm not worried about you and I'm like damn it's not exaggerating but, so Caitlin yes. let's talk about the draft and then yeah. the golden goggles what was that all like it was really fun first of all I just have to say I was so honored to be considered a legend and to be in the presence with Natalie and Lenny Kraselberg and Jason Lezak people that I've looked up to and like you said we've all swam together so when I was first asked I was really humbled and honored to be a part of it and to be a part of something so new and exciting for USA Swimming and Natalie's been talking about this for a long time and my uh, husband's an avid football fan and a past player himself and you know we love football we love fantasy football and I was more engaged with him playing this past season I'm like this is pretty fun and to see how much he got into it and he's a pretty mellow guy I was like oh gosh what am I gonna be like and I saw it come out like your competitiveness comes out and I was following it while I was traveling yesterday on Twitter and it's like oh Michael Andrews ninth in the hundred breaststroke and he's my flex and I was like dang it ninth that's no points and then I land and he's somebody scratch and he's eight. I'm like, oh yeah, baby, we're back in. We're back in. So it's like, you know, I don't know if that's Well, let's talk about, let's just talk about Lee Zach for a second. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, we love you, dude. We love, we love you, Jason. You. I Your love. strategy so far has not been But working. you are so much further away from these guys than you were that French guy. <laughs> no if, you, like, if he was doing a breaststroke relay, he would win. He would. He uh, got a lot of breaststrokers. So apparently breaststrokers are not what you want to have. No, he just, like his top five, right, were like, like three studly brushstrokers. And during the draft, we're like, Jason, you know this is not a brushstroke relay, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's you like, need it's some you guys. Yeah. yeah, get an and we're talking We're there. talking about the, the mixed medley relay, which was the first night. Yeah. Where so did you guys ever get a chance? I didn't as a swimmer, but did you ever get a chance to do that relay? Um, I did. It was so fun. I competed um, at Short Course World Championships. What was um, the makeup of your relay? Who were the, do you remember what who, it was? Who was I think it was uh, Eugene Godso and uh, Josh Schneider were the oh, two cool. guys. And uh, it was just so fun to be in the ready room on the same team right. with, like, other dudes that, you know, you've been on the team with but you've never competed with. And right. so uh, that was really the first time I did got to do a mixed medley and really the only. Um, I I think it's really fun, yeah. um, and I think it adds another fun element to the meet. And then we're talking about more fun elements. We have, we have the tonight we have the 50 yeah. shootouts, mm -hmm. and then we also have the um, 
the, the, the kind of what we call the mystery medley, yeah, right? Yeah, the mystery yeah. medley. That so, would which be I intense. think, honestly, <laughs> would have been like your forte. I think so, but gosh, who knows? If they would have put that brushstroke first, I would have been just out of the shoots, like at a disadvantage. So, yeah. I feel like maybe it would have been good for me, but I think that's, like I said, it's fun. We're bringing a new element of excitement to USA Swimming. Swimming's so popular every four years. Why can't it be popular every year? And I think that we are on that path and we are definitely on to something. And it's just kind of fun for like us to be on the other side of things mm -hmm. now and looking at how amazing the next generation of USA Swimming is and just the more that we can bring excitement and light to these talented athletes the more and uh, prosperous our sport can be. I think too, like with the mixed medley and the 50 shootout, I think it's so fun for the athletes to do something different right. because how many times can mm -hmm. you do a 200 fly? How many yeah. times can you do a 200 <laughs> breast? Like it gets a little mundane. Like we love right. it guys, but it's fun to mix it up. And I think it's a fun training atmosphere for these guys to race in front of people, but to mix it up and not do the same event that they always do. And you got this opportunity at the Mare Nostrum, right? I so did. like that's what, that's what we were talking about last night in one of our interviews was just kind of like, now it's giving some of these athletes an opportunity mm -hmm. that maybe, maybe they wouldn't have right. right to get this racing opportunity and they get kind of stuck in a rut they're like sitting there breaking right. down the same races over and over again and then right. they finally get the opportunity to say wait a second i can just get in there and race it kind right. of brings you back to that summer league feel right exactly it is yeah. so fun i did a 50 shootout a couple years ago where it was on an interval so the first the first event started and then it was on two minutes and you ended up doing <laughs> six fifties it was exhausting yeah. and so fun and i i got my butt kicked like that last <laughs> the, the last one killed me and i was dying but i had so much fun you put on a show for the fans and the fans sure. love it people mm -hmm. are having full body cramps because they went way too fast <laughs> that first first 50 and uh it, it's fun the strategy comes in the play, right? Strategy well, is a big thing. And then it also feeds really well into what part of the season is right now because right. these athletes are coming off Christmas training, they're right. totally in right. shape. They may not be able to do something really fast mm -hmm. one time, yeah. but they could do it six. Exactly. Right? right. So it's like the, the, the person that wins it may not be the fastest swimmer, but exactly. they, you know, they might just be where they are in their training. So there is some strategy in there, but I just, I just, I like you said, guys, I just like how they're stirring the pot up, right. getting new people in. We have, they're giving away free thunder sticks to all the kids tonight. Thunder Fun. sticks? Yeah. So I mean, oh, you know, and it's yeah. Saturday night in Austin, Texas. Yeah. So yes. you think that they're going to do this. It's just really nice to see USA Swimming kind of stepping it up, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and really making an effort. Let's talk, let's talk real fast about your rosters. <laughs> so now that we are in the first of the six steps, yeah. the stops of the season, mm -hmm. now you kind of start to play in. Are you going to start to sit there and go, who are my real – point getters mm -hmm. you start to are you going to reach out to these athletes well it's also oh. like who's coming <laughs> yeah. you know what i Look mean at your like, face. You're like yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, like, oh I yeah. and i'm like oh do what's best for you and i was like you better be at this meet no you know i heard from leah smith who was my yeah. number one pick of the draft and obviously she was going to be somebody that i was going to you know definitely swim this weekend and she reached out she's like hey just want to give you a heads up i'm not going to be at austin but i plan to be at everything else and really appreciated the heads up because it was even funnier because they still had her entered in the meet everybody's like why didn't caitlin santano put leah on her squad I'm like I promise she's not coming <laughs> but you know like I told her you got to do what's best for you at this time of your season for your ultimate goal at the end of the summer you know obviously I would love if you were here but I totally get if you're not and just it makes it a little bit easier if you have a fuller roster attending yes. <laughs> these meets yeah and you had a good roster now yeah. we're looking at that one Natalie you have quite the roster yeah. <laughs> I have a good she roster did her homework. Um, yeah so let's talk let's talk a minute while you're talking about what happens when you win this thing. What do you, what, uh, now yeah. what do you guys get if you win this Yes, thing? so I'm competing for Dam Cancer, um, which Dam Cancer is for young adults afflicted with cancer. It's named after a good friend of mine who died at age 28 from osteosarcoma. He was a swimmer, so David Andrew Pooh Madden uh, Foundation. And um, I've been working with them since the foundation started in 2008. It's amazing, and so 10 grand would make a big, big difference in a lot of people, young people's lives who have uh, cancer. That's awesome. That's the only reason why I'm cheering for her, because it's for a really good cause. <laughs> I know that's what makes it so hard. Obviously, well, I really sure. want to win. Um, and for the foundation I'm playing for is the Jesse Reese Foundation, also very near and dear to my heart. Uh, Jesse Reese was 11 years old when she was diagnosed with two inoperable brain tumors. And she wanted to spread hope, joy, and love to children fighting cancer and to encourage them to never, ever give up. So I'm on Team Nigu. So if my team doesn't win, I hope Lenny's team wins, because Lenny's playing for the Jesse Reese Foundation as well. Um, just being involved with the foundation 
foundation over the years. I got Lenny involved to do some hospital visits with us and whatnot. So I became the national spokesperson about five years ago. And my um, role with the foundation is traveling to children's hospitals around the country. So I've done close to 150 hospital visits on behalf of Jesse Reese. And she was a swimmer at the Mission Viejo Natadores. Oh, and she actually awesome. swam for Coach Fran Crippen. Fran coached that team no for a little way. bit too. So there's a lot of sentimental a lot reasons, of a lot there. of connections sure. there. But that's what's so amazing that USA Swimming has a, um, provided this opportunity because it is for an amazing cause. And I think too, like you're starting to see these, the camaraderie within your teammates. Have you noticed yes. that? And even yes. I ran into Ryan Murphy in the elevator <laughs> today because then I was like, well, do the athletes think this is cool? You know, yeah. like I obviously think this is cool. And so I know Ryan, but not that well, you know, and we're standing there like, hey, nice swimming. He's like, thanks. He's like, how's your squad doing? I was like, <laughs> well, you're taking some of my points, but I got my boy Jacob Hubley on your toes. You, you know, guys so are cool making to it really hard for me. You're, you're making it hard for me to not want to <laughs> get involved. Get involved. Yeah, I, may, really I, may, I may just make my own black team on the side <laughs> yeah, here. You, you can know, be my Red, white, or blue. And just yeah, my under, honorary. Like, yeah. Hanson has a squad. You could be my assistant. Guys, I can't thank you enough for coming on the <laughs> yeah, show. Thank you. I mean, if this doesn't show everybody out there what you're doing now, even this is still the kind of impact you're making in the sport with you not being in it. Uh, it means a lot to USA Swimming. It means a lot to me as well. Thank so, you. again, thanks for coming on the thanks show. Thanks for having us. Thank yes. you. Get and, your voice uh, back. Make sure, I know, right? We got Jeez. your back, if not. <clears throat> right. we got Thank you. you. <laughs> but we're going to go to commercial, guys. We'll be right back. Yeah. I hear some disappointment. Doing everything I can, I don't wanna make you disappointed. It's annoying. I just wanna make you feel like everything I ever do was never trying to make an issue for you. But I guess the more you thought about everything, you were never even wrong in the first place, right? Yeah, I'ma just ignore you, walking towards you. With my head down, looking at the ground, I'm embarrassed for you. Paranoia. What did I do wrong this time? That's parents for you. Very loyal. Should I have my back? Would you put a knife in my hands? Or what else should I carry for you? I care for you, but I'm right now. I wish that I could say. All right, guys, we're back from Deck Pass Live, so we're going some from some from some old faces, old faces in USA Swimming to one of the newer faces that we're seeing on the pool deck. We have Michael Andrews, the top seed in the 50 freestyle tonight. Mike, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. thanks for having me. It's cool to be on Deck Pass. Yeah, so let's let's talk a little bit about the sprinting. You know, it's been it's been a long time of the same guys swimming the same races, and all of a sudden you're starting to really step up and yeah. and, and not only like compete against these guys, but post times that are really going to make these guys shake up a little bit. And right. coming out this morning, very packed field, yeah. right? Now you're top seed, 22-0. Yeah. Uh, this part of the season, what's what's going to be the game strategy for tonight? Oh man, the game strategy for tonight. Okay, so I've done a couple of swim offs, um, this kind of shootout style, and <clears throat> for me. I, because I'm young, I feel like I can just go all out from the beginning, and <laughs> I'm going to awesome. do it. I feel like I'll, I can get in Nathan's head, be like yeah. going really quick. Um, yeah, so I'll take the first one really quick, see if I'm like 21, 7, whatever, and then just hold it. Um, I love racing. I feed off of the crowd from the energy, so I hope it's massive. Yeah, um, Yeah, it's just going to be a good night. Um, I know Nathan's definitely got a strategy where he can maybe pace it a little bit the first one, but... It's going to be a quick heat, and yeah. I just want to get through the rounds. That's awesome, man. And, I, and let's talk a little bit about that format. I mean, outside of that, they got the mystery medley. You, mm -hmm. you, you are part of the mixed medley relays the first night yeah. of the meet. Um, and I had two of the squad leaders, you know, Caitlin and Natalie, on earlier, and they were just talking about kind of the camaraderie between athletes and the teams. Have some yeah. of the, have your teammates reached out to you? or? Yeah, I think it's awesome um, because we are all such from, like, from such different backgrounds as an athlete sure. or, like, the teams. But we kind of now we're representing one team from multiple different spectrums, yeah. and uh, it's cool. Like with Pebs on the team, like we're always kind of like <laughs> buddy buddy. Like, yeah. hey, we're getting points, this and that, and um, it definitely brings a new perspective to racing, especially with the Pro Series. It makes it fun for all of us. That's that, I think that's what the USA Swimming was trying to do, and then you you know Tears is putting on a huge thing, and they're doing a great job. Tonight they're gonna have thunder sticks for all the kids. That's so be awesome. I, I think the biggest thing for you, and my only advice to you, is do something behind the blocks to get the crowd fired up. Right, like I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I mean, I don't know what I it bring is. Out, like, a Gary maybe like just point at him. Do like a Gary, Gary, Gary Hall. Hall I mean, 
why Nathan, not, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, Take just, him down. I mean, yeah. I've known Nathan a long time. He's really hard to get in, into his head. Right. But, I mean, why not try, right? For sure. <laughs> That'd <laughs> okay. be fun. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the 50 fly as well. You yeah. also have that tonight. We took one breath in that, yeah. in that race. Now, is there any different strategy in any of these 50s, or is it just pretty much just go all out? Yeah, so tonight in the 50 fly, um, the plan's going to go no breath in the first one. Um, I was a 23-2 at on course Junior World Championships in August which was a world junior record for me. And so after going 23-5 this morning, very relaxed, felt super smooth, really sure. strong. So I feel like I can break a world junior record tonight. Oh, um, dang, that's awesome. So yeah, that'd be cool. But other than that, it's just, just it's a 50. I gotta yeah. go all out for sure. Yeah. And then as we look, let's look, let's look a little bit big, big, bigger picture. This is the second year of the Quadrennium. We're looking at 2020, yeah. right, Tokyo. Definitely. I'm going, okay? I'm not going to swim, but I'm definitely <laughs> going. I think that's going to be one of the better Olympics, for sure. you know, in a long time. And um, as you are starting to prepare for this, yeah. how important are these stops, these pro swim series, as you get to U.S. Nationals, as we go into Pam Packs, you know, I think it's going to be important for you to, to get some more international competition on the, on the U.S. team. I mean, is that, is, are you using these stops or are you using other meets as yeah, well? Yeah, absolutely. So for me, the way I train um, and the way, kind of we, the way we view swimming as a whole, like I love to race. And so any opportunity to race at such a big level like this and beautiful facilities is a huge opportunity um, because for me, I know training is race or racing is training. So the more I race, the faster I get. Um, as, as we get closer to Pampac Trials, um, Short Course Worlds, and then obviously leading into 2019 World Champs and sure. then Tokyo, um, the more I get to race, the more I get to experience, especially this 50, as I feel like that's my, my yeah, bread yeah, and butter. Yeah, 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 that's awesome. It's uh, something you got to be doing consistently. Now let's talk about your consistency because there's a lot of kids that watch this show all the time, right? And, they, and one of the things that I saw with you is that you came onto this scene so fast and now you're not going away, right? Right. What would be your advice to give to these kids as they, as they look to be like someone like you? I mean, obviously yeah. you're one of their idols, right? right. But then they, then they see you at a young age, you're, you're 14, 15 years old, you're racing these guys and then people get intimidated by that. Right. And then now you're not going away and you're just gonna keep fighting. So what's your advice to yeah. these kids, man? So my advice, um, swimming aside, and this is something that took me a long time to learn. Um, I, as a 14 year old, went pro. I put a ton of pressure on myself. I'd come to meet so afraid to fail. And um, over the years from spiritual mentors, family, parents, um, other athletes, I realized I'm not defined by the sport. Yeah. So success, it's awesome. Like right. I'm gonna celebrate it. But the truth is the next day you have another race, you know? Yeah. And people say, yeah, you're only as good as your last swim. But just don't define yourself by that, by that you know? Be, um, be true to who you are. Realize like the relationships you create through racing, traveling, all the experiences that are set, it's that lasts longer than a sure. medal will ever last. Yeah, and that's a good point, man. I think it's that consistency, just that perspective that you have. I can actually see it just in the way you walk up and down the pool deck, <laughs> saying hi to people, being friendly, and, and stuff. And when you were 14, you was just like laser focused, right. and I've yeah, got to exactly. win. So it's definitely noticeable, man. I'm a huge fan. Appreciate I really it. hope you do well this this year going into this, and, and and continue the success you have. You definitely have the mindset right now, and I just want to wish you all the best, Thank man. Thank you so much, Thanks Michael time, Andrews, man. guys. Good luck tonight, buddy. Thank you. I'm excited. Yeah, and we got Deck Pass Live tonight, guys, after finals. Make sure you come out, usaswimming.org. You can buy tickets there, or you can buy them at the front desk. Giving away thunder sticks. We got the shootouts, the, the mystery medley towards the end. All different, un, unfamiliar events, but going to be fun ones. So make sure you come out. Deck Pass Live will be shown after finals tonight.